Hey, you guys, it's your girl, Tisa. I wanted to come on here and do some news stories for you. And I've noticed that we haven't had a Florida story in a while. I guess Florida has been taking a break from their damn ratchetness, okay? But I did find two Florida stories that I wanted to share with you guys. And both of these Florida stories are very, very interesting, okay? So the first story that's coming from our first favorite state, Wretched Ass Florida. <laughs> this story is crazy, y'all. It's about a young man in Florida. He was recently arrested because he just decided to, you know, what the hell? Let me just grab my TV table, grab me these pancakes, eggs, and bacon, honey, and go eat my food peacefully in the middle of the damn intersection. This fool's name is Key Aaron Thomas. He's 21 years old, and basically him and his homeboy filmed himself feasting on some damn flapjacks in the middle of the crosswalk. Now, once his video went viral on social media, the Lakeland Police Department posted this on their Facebook page to assure the citizens of Lakeland, Florida, that this young man had been arrested and he's going to be charged with obstruction charges. This whole situation is a hot damn mess. I want y'all to go ahead and watch this video really quick. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. <laughs> this nigga is hilarious, bro. They better not hit no dog either. That shit look good as hell, too, boy. <laughs> hey, they better not hit my dog either. What the fuck wrong with him? Yeah. <laughs> on the eastbound lane. There's a gentleman sitting in the middle of the road with a folding table eating, eating, just sitting in the middle of the road eating in a chair and a folding table. And you said he's at Walking Memorial in Brunel? Yes, man. Where he's got green pajama pants on, no shirt, black male. He's just sitting in the middle of the lane eating breakfast, sitting right in the middle of the intersection. How old does he look? Everybody's about his 20s. Okay. What's your phone number, please? All right, we'll have somebody out there shortly. Thank you. I thank you. Bye. 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 Like on police department up at a five oh eight. Yeah, this is. I've got a problem, or you guys have got one before they somebody gets ran over. Okay. You know where the auto mall is? The Lakeland Auto Mall. Yeah, down here. There's two guys sitting at a table in the middle of the crosswalk in the middle of a green light eating pancakes. Yeah, we just received a call on that. That was a little unusual. We do unusual. have unusual. He's got one of the guys and he's got a mouth full of gold teeth cussing everybody. Oh wow. Well, it ain't okay. unusual. They're fools. Right. Yeah. We've got we've got a call on that and we're getting an officer we're getting officers you know what out there. Dressed in? I'm so, what's he dressed in? They the, the guy at the table has got curly hair pulled up on top of his head, black gentleman, wearing green pajama bottoms. No shirt. Paja yeah, no shirt, yeah. Yep. Okay. He, he's lucky the sable truck in front of me didn't run over. Right, right. We're getting him out there, okay, sir? I appreciate okay, it very thank much. You. Thank no you. No problem. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. So you guys just saw that video. You know, the things that this generation will do for likes, hearts, and whatever else is just insane. You would honestly think that as much of these people get involved in fuckery, that they were getting paid in likes or that they were getting paid in hearts. You know what I'm saying? The thing that I find funny about this whole situation is he's very, very lucky that his prank did not end up killing him. You know what I'm saying? Because had somebody been texting or not paying attention but decided to run the light, his ass could have been just as flat as those damn pancakes that his ass was feasting on, okay? You know, you had to be smart when doing pranks. And pranks like this, yes, I can see where it's kind of funny or whatever. You know, him and his friends, you know, they're young, so they probably think shit like that is funny. But you can also get hurt. 
You have a big old semi truck right there who has to make deliveries. Lucky for him, the semi truck was patient, was willing to go around him. But what if this was somebody who was late and they were literally flying through the intersection? This young man could have been killed. You know what I'm saying? You have to be smart. And I see a lot of folks, you know, going in on him, clowning him. Yes, was this a foolish prank? Yes, it was. But I also have to say this. He's not the first person. You know, we had a lot of white guys back in the day. How soon we forget the jackass crew? And they were always doing stupid shit like this, stunts like this, fucking with the public. This is when people used to do real pranks, you know, not the shitty pranks that you see here on YouTube. But jackass ended up getting the show because of all the pranks and all the foolishness that they were doing in the real world. We all know they had their show on MTV. They got a movie and everything else. I'm done, and this is the rocket cart. Five, four... Three, two, one. So I can't really get too, too mad at this young man because to me, when I see him doing stuff like that, it reminds me of an old Johnny Knoxville or Steve-O and the shit that they used to do back in the day. And I think that's probably what this young man was emulating. But again, we had to be smart. You know what I'm saying? You had to be safe. You know, it's one thing to do a prank, but... You never want to sit here and get a criminal record behind doing a prank or possibly get yourself killed, okay? I don't recall, you know, any of the jackass people getting a criminal record behind any of their pranks. And if they were arrested, a lot of the charges were thrown out. So it's going to be really interesting to see how all this plays out. But again, you have to be smart. Everything is not worth a view or a like, okay? So now on to the next story that's going down in Florida. This, surprisingly enough, is a feel-good story, and I wanted to talk about this because so many times we get only ratchet stories from Florida, but I really enjoyed this story, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So this story is about Pedro Veloria, and he's 22 years old. So what was going on is that basically he was working Tuesday morning at McDonald's, and this was in Doria, Florida. And so while he was walking through the drive-thru, an undercover, um, you know, off-duty, not undercover, but an off-duty Miami-Dade police officer pulled through with her children. She was getting ready to, you know, order her children food, and as she pulled up, the woman kind of passed out. And her kids were screaming, you know, Mom, what's wrong? Mom, wake up. What's going on? And he noticed that her car was rolling forward and this guy literally jumped out the window and was a real life superhero. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip. Check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I thought immediately something's going on with that woman right now and I got to do something to help her. A quick thinking McDonald's drive through employee springs into action when he sees a customer having a medical emergency in her car. 22-year-old Pedro Veloria was about to hand the woman her food at the pickup window. But as you can see in the surveillance video, the car just rolled right past him. That's when he jumped out the window to go see what was happening. Her kids were screaming, like, mother, mother, stop it. Mother, what are you doing? Video from inside the restaurant shows the car rolling through the parking lot, being witnessed by customers. One of those customers was an off-duty fire rescue officer. He also rushed to help the woman, who was later identified as an off-duty police officer. But Pedro Valoria says all he could think about were the children in the back seat of the car witnessing all of this. I thought if these kids lose their mother today, that's going to be tragic. If, if I would have need to die to save that woman, I would have done it. The woman was rushed to the hospital where she's reportedly recovering. But that might not have been the case if it wasn't for this fast-acting, fast-food worker. I never panicked at all. I just, my brain was on hero mode. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. And I just want to say kudos to that young man. It's very nice to get really good stories like this. I don't care what state it's from. You know, anytime I can do a positive story on this channel, I will try to. But unfortunately, there's not a lot of good damn news, okay? But this was one of them, and I wanted to share that with you guys. And like I said, you know, for him to not sit here and be selfish and just turn around and start dropping fries, he saw that there was something wrong. His instincts told him that that mother was in trouble. 
mobile and he basically saved her life and her children's life because what if that car would have rolled into the middle of the intersection and got hit and smashed you know anything could have happened to these children so you know thank god for that guardian angel pedro looking after this woman and you know jumping in the car and saving her and her children's lives so anyways y'all so those are my two stories from our first favorite state these stories weren't super super ratchet but i still had to share them with you because we have not had a florida story in a while and i'm glad that all in all both of these stories you know they ended up to be good stories you know what i'm saying i'd rather have this young man in the middle of the road eating pancakes than eating somebody's face let's not forget the damn florida zombie situation of damn 2013 okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.